and Joybot 100 amp hour coming up. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name is Jeremy. I'm an electronics technician. And today's in today's video, we're gonna tear down and test the EnjoyBot 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Now this company did contact me, sent me the battery, but as always, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. So my first impressions of this battery, uh, looks really clean. Lots of good information on top and on the side. It does come with bolts and some caps for the bolts. Comes with these uh, plugged up here. It also comes with a quality assurance tag. So, you know, it's good, right? And book so lots of uh lots of good information a little bit of history of the company it looks like um they've been around for a while i've, I've seen them around they're not one of these new pop-up companies uh i think they're pretty well respected in the lithium battery industry and from all the other reviews i've seen on other batteries they've got a really good uh really good builds high quality stuff so Let's, uh, hopefully that holds true in this case. So I've already charged this guy up. I've already ran the test. Let's hop on the computer and look at the capacity test and the AMZON listing. Let's dig around. All right, let's check out the capacity test. And as you can see right over here, 109 amp hours. That is fantastic. And looks like our voltage, our low voltage disconnect cut out at 10.4 volts i did discharge at a rate of eight amps and uh, everything here looks looks fantastic let's look at the amazon listing and as you can see 380 bucks but right now amazon has a coupon for 30 bucks off so you can get this battery for 350 bucks which is a really good deal we have all these different options here they also have a six amp hour which i would be interested in checking out so if you want to see that video let me know down in the comments uh 27 bucks for six amp hour that, that's not too shabby at all but let's get back to this 100 amp hour u.s local warehouse responds within 24 hours look at 10 year warranty don't really hear that much from chinese based companies that's more u.s based companies that have a long warranty so pretty excited about that here let's take a look at this overcharge protection well, i already know that works uh, when I charge it up, I always test the overcharge. I know that works. Over discharge protection, we know that works because the battery turned itself off at 10.4 volts. So that's over discharge protection. We know that works. Overload protection, I don't have a good way of testing this yet. I need to uh, get a, like a 500 watt inverter and uh, some other doodads to really be able to test this overload protection. Um, but that's coming. I will be incorporating that in my test here soon. My favorite short circuit protection. We'll definitely be doing that. Does not have low temperature charging protection. And if this battery pans out, I'll make sure to leave links down in the description. So let's hop back over to the workbench. So let's get this guy weighed up here at the Amazon listing. Said 24 pounds. I'm getting 23 pounds, 5.3 ounces. Let's do the short circuit protection test. And in this test, we're looking for the battery to shut itself off once it detects there's a short present. Before we do that, we're gonna, I'm gonna verify we have voltage on it. So what, what I don't wanna see is I, I don't wanna see a big, huge spark. I don't wanna take a couple seconds for it to realize um, that there's a short present. I don't want the over current protection of this battery to kick in I want the short circuit protection so I don't want this I don't want any current through here I want to see there's a dead short and not an overcurrent situation so hopefully just like minimal sparks if any at all just shut off perfect this is what I want to see every time. Every time I test the battery, that's what needs to happen. That's what I'm looking for. This thing detected a short, was off. Ah. 
Now, these things come back on by themselves. See, now we have 17. Now we have 13.7 volts. As soon as the BMS detects there's no longer a short present, it kicks it back on. This is exactly what I want to see. So very happy with this. I think it's time to void the warranty. Now if you're new around here, that's where we void the warranty. We open this thing up. We, uh, we break the rules right here. Do not disassemble. We're going to disassemble. Here we go. Stick around. So before we crack this thing open, I want to talk to you guys real quick about how my channel makes money. So obviously when you guys view this, we get the, the ad revenue from it. And then once I find a battery that I like, I'll post links to it. And then you guys go, you know, if you're interested, you go hit those links and I get like a really small commission from you guys using my links to get a battery. That's why I get so excited when I come across good battery because yeah, I'm going to make a little chunk of change on it. Um, that's why I'm so disappointed when I come across a battery that I can't really recommend to you guys because then it's just, oh, I don't make any money off it. So I just wanted to just be transparent with you guys on, on how, how it works. I will never recommend a battery just to make a few bucks on it. If you've seen my other videos, you, you know that there's seems like the majority of them I don't recommend. So um, I'm getting pretty excited about this one because I think I'm going to be able to recommend it. So if you're interested in getting this battery, please use my links. I'm at, I'll post them in the description and in the comment section. Um, I'll also have links on my website. So uh, that's going to be a great way. If you guys like what I'm doing, you want to support the channel, buy the battery, use my link. It's not going to cost you any more. Thanks. Let's crack it open. Here we go. So this thing is IP, I believe 65 rated. So probably have a bunch of silicone in there. All right, that was a little bit of a chore to get into it. Definitely uh, water resistant, waterproof. First thing right off the bat, I noticed these are actually Allen screws up here. Usually they're they're bolts. Not a big deal. I would have probably liked to have seen silicone around them just so um, just to prevent them from backing out. Let's get those unscrewed. my positive and negative leads wrapped up and secured. Now we do have a few blocks in here. This thing, it's got some different looking cells in here. I don't know if I've ever seen these type of cells. It's, uh, yeah, we got something. We got something new going on here, guys. They're pouch cells. Pouch cells. You gotta be pretty careful with these because they uh, it's basically like thick aluminum foil. Huh. So I, I have seen a few other teardowns of this battery and, uh, and they didn't have this, it didn't look like this. They didn't have these cells, they had different BMS, um, kind of a different setup. These seem to pull, they pulled more, more capacity and I'm going to be honest, I, I don't know as much about these cells as I do uh, cylindrical and, and pris prismatic cells. They've got them in this nice plastic housing, this nice plastic case. 
And there's four of them, so you got four of them in series. And here's where they're hooked up in series. Huh, this is very interesting, guys. And they got little channels through this, uh, through the pouch housing for their wires. These are eight AWG doubled up on both the negative and positive leads. The BMS does seem to be a pretty good BMS. I'm just basing that off of the short circuit protection. I mean, that cut off like that. In case you want some numbers, it's like a B01-04-344. I mean, overall, it's a very good clean build. Um, every wire on here is, has some sort of protection on it. Uh, these balance leads have some wire wrap. They've got their own channel through this, this pouch housing. These pouches, um, I mean, they've got this case around them, so they're, they're really well protected for a $350 battery. Pulled 109 amp hours. Really good build quality. I mean, other than it not having low temperature charging protection, this is a really good battery, guys. Really good. I will leave links to it in the uh, video description. And let me know. Let me know what you think as far as the pouch cells to go. Smaller pack. You know, the cells seem to take up less room. Everything's eyed up, nice and neat. Kind of wish they would put some silicone on these but they've got lock washers it's a solid battery guys it's a probably damn near waterproof case it was a pain in the butt to get into this is a this is a good battery if you buy this battery i wouldn't worry about uh having any issues with it as far as i can tell uh, build quality is good now if you want to see a battery where the build quality was not so good make sure you hit this video right here make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.